So an artifact I covered on release has now found out to be something more than I originally thought. Damage people, lots and lots of stacked damage. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge is an artifact rewarded to you by Claptrap towards the end of the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC campaign. And you can see that artifact on screen now. What this offers is consecutive successful hits, grant 1% increased damage per hit up to 15 times, at maximum stacks as an additional 20% damage. So going off what this states, like I said in my first video on this thing, you basically, it seems, get a total additional damage output from this artifact of 35%. 15 stacks at 1%, then an additional 20% equaling 35%. But actually guys, that's not how it works. Now before we go any further, credit to this find or first to cover this video must go to Moxie. As far as I am aware, he was the first to bring this to the community's attention. So if you guys would like to go and check him out and show him some love, his YouTube and Twitch can be found linked within the video description. As far as Borderlands streamers go, in my opinion, he's the one to watch. So yes, brought to my attention was his video stating the damage this thing stacks to wasn't what we first believed. It was calculated that this thing in fact actually gives you between 120 to 150 additional bonus damage. Now calculations I couldn't find, so I decided to try and suss this thing out myself and bring you guys this in a form even a noob like me would understand. So these calculations may be slightly off, but under my testing, this is what I found. So a standard weapon at default deals 100% damage, obviously. So with that first hit, you will see damage equaling a 1.01%. Calculate and add that to 15 consecutive hits, and you are left with a damage percentage of a 1.16, I do believe. So let's say you have a weapon which shoots a standard damage of 11 like we see here within the level 1 infinity pistol. I wanted something lower level to demonstrate and make calculations on to make it easier. So after 15 shots your output would be 11 times a 1.16 and that equals a 12.76. But the game won't show such numbers so you get either a 12 or sometimes 13 number pop up. Which we see with the infinity pistol after those 15 hits. So with this damage number in mind. We then have to add that extra 20% damage this artifact offers after the 15 consecutive hits. And the way you'd work this out is as follows. Now what you do is you calculate these two weapon numbers together, which would be 11 times 1.16, which equals 12 in game. And then we add that to 11 times 1.20, which is 13 in game. Then add the 12 and the 13 together and we get 25. And that's the total stacked damage we do indeed see with this infinity pistol making the most out of this artifact. So to calculate the total damage multiplier this artifact offers percentage wise is quite easy. We started with 11 damage, we ended up with 25. 100% of 11 damage would take us to 22 damage. Adding the remaining 3 damage percentage wise is about 35%-ish give or take a few numbers. And that's what it seems we are getting in total from this artifact, around that 130-140% damage increase from consecutive hits. Like I said, give or take a few numbers here people, it's been a long long time since I did do maths. Now what else is also interesting is when stacking the damage, if you use a weapon which shoots multiple pellets or projectiles per shot, the 15 stacks happen much much quicker, which makes the crazy results with weapons such as the Anarchy. And you can see this in action with this artifact in action on screen now against Graveward. So yeah people, it's a pretty cool artifact. And in fact, it's an artifact I originally put off due to my initial thoughts on the damage this thing actually offered. It's great to see that actually isn't the case, and in reality, this indeed is a top tier artifact. There's no two which ways about it. And to be honest guys, I actually don't think this is a bug or glitch like many people are thinking. I feel this was intended, and I wouldn't really expect any kind of patch or nerf to land on this thing, I really wouldn't. So yeah guys, a quick video clearing this up for those that are a little confused on the matter. I hope this helps you out. So yes people, it seems in total, the damage percent bonus we get from this Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge Artifact is around that 130% damage output which is pretty damn cool but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one